Shazam! How's it going, boys and girls of the DC Squad? It's your boy, Brad, the DC Universe Geek, and I'm coming at you with another action figure review. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I can't do the I'm cool while I do my action figure thing. I'm sorry. Some people could pull that off. I just can't. I'm a dork. How's it going? PX Previews Exclusive 112th Collective Black Adam action figure review. This is going to be a quicker one done more in my old style just because I got a lot on my plate and I still wanted to showcase this figure. So, the front, black, lightning bolt, logos where they need to be. Very cool. I like the fact this comes in a tin. I feel like I'm opening cookies or cigars and not an action figure. On the front, you can see Black Adam, MezcoToys.com, so you know where to buy all the cool stuff. Black Adam, and then on the back, you have the 112th Collective logo, so that we don't confuse this awesome collectible with something else. We're going to open up the tin, have a little peekaroo on the inside, and wajoosh! What the heck is wajoosh? It's Black Adam, and he doesn't look too happy. Just look at that. Oh, look at that. You can see my face. How's it going, everybody? Anyhow, the figure here, here, and they got the stuff in the hands. Let's just take him out. Get out. Oh, jeez. It's all... Oh. Oh. <sighs> Why can't I do it cool like everybody else? Move the cookie tin. I don't want the cookie tin to fall on the floor and break. Oops. I seriously want to keep that cookie tin. I mean, figure tin. Cookies didn't come. See, I told you. I think of it as a cookie tin. And here's what you get. Look, I slammed it down and the lightning bolt fell out of place. You know what? I'm keeping it. This is a raw review. Okay, hang on. Let's just get all this stuff out of the package and have a closer look at everything. Let's deal with this stuff first. Here, shove over for a second, old blackie. Let's just... Oh, yep, all that. Got the bag. Shove all this stuff here off to the side for a second, and then open up the figure. Got, oh, got black. All this stuff has just fallen out. I'm not going to let him fall out. Stand him up nicely. You got the, oh, well, okay, fall down. I don't care. Ah, now all this mess right here, let me just organize it for you. Okay, so here's what you get. You get the action figure with a wired hood for posability. You also get a big yellow lightning bolt for sticking on his chest when he yells, Shazam! You get a set of flight hands. You also get a set of grabby, kind of pensive looking fingers hands. You get a flight stand grabby arm. And you also get some various bits and pieces for cape posability because this figure doesn't have a wired cape. And when it's all said and done, you get this little baggie to store everything that you didn't use in. Oh yeah, and you also get the figure stand that he's currently standing on right now. So now that we've gone over briefly everything that comes in the package, let's take a closer look, shall we? So if we just start with Black Adam here, his suit is just a onesie, a one-piece onesie with no actual details whatsoever, which is accurate to Black Adam's classic look, so I'm perfectly fine with that whole thing. His sash around his waist here, as you can see, is very much like Captain Marvel's, except for you can turn his all the way around. It's not a sewn-on piece like Captain Marvel's actually had a point where it was sewn to the suit. The lightning bolt on Black Adam's chest, I'm going to zoom in, give you a closer look there. In much the same way that Captain Marvel's was nice and firm and glued to the fabric, no worries of touching it and having it come off in your fingers while you're performing action figure photography. It's the same thing here for Black Adam. It seems like that lightning bolt is going to be really firm and stuck on the costume. I would have preferred they use maybe a more matte type of fabric for his suit. The boots are nicely textured with this figure. Zoom in on the boots. There, zoom. You gotta focus! Focus, damn it! There we go. Now she's focused. The boots have this neat texture to them. I really, really like it. And the fact that they've gone with just the black and the gold for a figure that's so simple, it's striking. He stands out. And I'm really appreciative that they did decide to give us Black Adam as the variant as opposed to another version of Captain Marvel. As for Black Adam's head sculpt, I can't really see anything about it that I would actually change. Not only do I think all the sculpting detail looks spot on, and they managed to capture the character in the facial features of Kandak's supreme and all-powerful leader, but the skin tone as well I find to be incredibly impressive. They've done a good job of actually making this look like flesh. So far, in person, this is, as far as skin tone goes, the one that I'm the most impressed with. So Black Adam's articulation is going to be pretty much the same as every other DC Mezco figure I've reviewed on this channel, with the head being on a ball joint, 
and the neck also having articulation. So, I mean, there's a whole lot of movement and posability there for flight poses and whatnot and what have you. The shoulders themselves are on hinge swivels and there's a lot of movement there. That's just going up that way, but typically you're gonna to wanna to pose him with the arms rotated and up like that. So there's a lot of posability there with those hinge swivel shoulders. You got rotate biceps, you've got double jointed elbows, you've got swivel hinge wrists, so you can go all the way around and there's just a ton of movement in the arms of these Mezco figures. I really, really always like the articulation in these guys. There's also articulation in the chest here, under the pecs for him to have more posability, as well as in the waist. So from here, from the waist up, there's a, just a ton of that typical Mezco articulation. The groin for this figure is on the ball joint, so there's lots and lots and lots of free movement right there as well. And you've also got articulation here at the top of the leg. This is really stiff, and I can't really rotate it that well because it's in the fabric, but if it's typical to Mezco, it's going to have articulation there as well as having the ever popular double jointed knees and they crunch up big time. And then you've got rotation here also at the boot. He's got top of the boot articulation. And then you have the ankle articulation, which some people like and some people don't with these Mezco figures. They're ball jointed, they swivel, they rotate but they don't really do the job like a lot of people want them to. However, that's the articulation that this figure has. Take it or leave it. The cape for this figure attaches with the chain around his neck as opposed to Captain Marvel's, which attaches with a little gold rope. This cape is actually made out of like a nice kind of fake leather. It's nice and soft and supple. And it's just the, I'm not really a big fan of them doing this for the inside. I would have rather the, it been a different fabric in general on the inside or dye it better or something, but it does look nice on the outside. Maybe I'll hit this up with some fabric dye or something like that. And the, the gilding along the outside here it looks nice. It's this neat kind of gold fabric they've stuck out there. And the wire that goes in the hood actually does extend to about here. That's where the wire ends in the cape. So there is some cape posability with the wires, but, but not a whole ton. The hood can go over his head like that, so he can be all like, yo, I'm into hood. Okay, that was a stupid joke. I'm an idiot. Overall, I think that the execution of the cape on this figure it's actually pretty good. I would really call this a cloak and not a cape. This would be more like a cloak as far as I'm concerned. But I like it and I'm glad that they included it and didn't just give us the basic bare figure. But rather, yeah, we, we, we did get this. And if, for the record, if we ever get a Mezco 112th Collective Classic Wonder Woman, I hope that they include her ceremonial cape just the same as they did for Black Adam here. Black Adam's lightning bolt accessory just clips on over top of his chest like that over the lightning bolt. You got to kind of stick it over his shoulders like that and you just pop it on like that so that he's ready to be all like, Shazam! Just like with Captain Marvel, I think this is actually a pretty interesting feature to have included with this figure, although I do wish they had have included some more lightning features to go with this guy. Now as for the installation of all those handy dandy extra hands, no pun intended, you just, uh, well, that's not right. Okay, time for a demonstration. You just take the hand off of the peg and you can see that that's the peg right there and then you take the new hand that you want to put on the figure you pop it on the peg just like that you take the other one off just like that and then you pop it on just like that and as quick as you can say Bob's your uncle Susan's your aunt he's got new hands two of the hands are bitch slappy flight hands and then two of them are pensive shazammy ring your neck kind of hands. You come here, you little bugger, I'll ring your neck, drink all my cold beers from the fridge. Now the figure stand and corresponding flight arm, pretty simple construction. You just pop the little peg out of the bottom. You can see it bounce off screen there. And then you just stick it in the hole. You just, oh God, that's a tight fit. There, just like that. Bam, flight stand. Yeah, it would help if I didn't bump the camera. Then you just grab the arm, stick it around Black Adam's waist. There you go, ready to fall on his face in front of everybody. Apparently this needs some tightening. Let's do that. You just hit it up with the screwdriver and then you just tighten it here like that. And then you make sure that one's tight too. Okay, we're good, let's try that again. You just take the little claw thing and you stick it around his waist and now he's ready to, he can't fly like that. You just take the figure, pop the little claws around his waist, and there you go. Now, Black Adam can be floating there or looking, what's up with that leg? Ah, oh, frig, dude. <sighs> I am failing at this. 
Now, if you find yourself like some others, an extreme poser, that doesn't sound good, being an extreme poser. You might even want to use these doohickeys that attach to his cape. These things here, which I never use. Matter of fact, I pretty much hate them. But let's attach them anyway, just so they can be in the video. You just take this doohickey right here, which I'm going to put in front of my phone so you can actually see it. And then you put these little army things, leggy, cape grabby things in here like that. You got one in there and you got the other and you just pop it. When you're done, you get a very excited, happy looking man. Yeah! Don't put me on that thing. Why not? Because I don't want to go up there. I want to dance. Well, that's tough titties. You're going on thingamajiggy. When you get everything all set up, you end up with this and this. I really am not a fan of, of these kind of things. Honestly, I'm just, I'm just not. And I know that I'm not alone in this. But anyway, what you do is you clip the cape to all of these little... I gotta do it, don't I? Yeah, I gotta do it. Frick! You move it over, you just kind of pull it inside of the clips. The cape just kind of fits there. Ah! And the, the clip fell out. Damn you, clip! Screw it. That one's not in the video. And you just take your figure, you pop him on the stand, like so, and then you pop the cape around his neck, and then you pop the cape back in the clip because it came... Then this f***ing clip fell out too. F***ing f***s. Come on, man. Just get in there. I can't be the only person in the world who pretty much hates these things. Look at that. I am back where I started. You know what? Screw it. I don't even care. You can go watch someone else's video and see how to use the cape stand. Seriously, I threw it and ended up over there in the corner because I hate him. <coughs> I do like the stand though. I like having the flight stand. I like the cape. I like the figure. So that's, that's good. But I'm going to set the other bits on fire. Now for the ever popular size and scale comparison, first I've got the only two Black Adam figures I own in my collection aside from this one. DC Icons on the right, DC Universe Classics on the left. Honestly, I like both of these other figures almost as much as I like the one from Mezco. I know they're not as good a quality in some areas, but they serve their purposes. And my first Black Adam figure was actually this one, and he's still one of my favorites. Well, I guess when you only have three and you like them all, I guess they're all one of your favorites, aren't they? I do have to say that the Mezco figure has superior quality control over the DC Universe Classics and the DC Icons, with the DC Icons Black Adam figure actually having skin-colored paint where it should be black painted for his uniform, and the DC Universe Classics, I mean, well, this is actually pretty good for a DC Universe Classics figure, but there's all kinds of weird paint slop on his boots and stuff like that, so this one is definitely better than both of these. Mastering it in quality, skin complexion, sculpt, and pretty much everything. But then again, that's what you get when you pay 80 bucks for an action figure as opposed to 30 or 19.99 retail. And now I brought in Mezco's version of the Wizard's second champion, Shazam, or Captain Marvel as I know him and as he'll always be named in my heart. And you can see that they use the exact same body buck. If you look at them, they're exactly the same, which is what makes this kind of a variant. Same boots, same buck, same fists, just molded in a different, more olive color flesh tone plastic, whereas these have been painted flesh tone, and it really becomes apparent that this is a simple, basic white complexion, and this is the more olive complexion, which you would expect coming from somebody who lives in a Middle Eastern region of Kandak. One major difference between the cap and Black Adam is that Shazam's uniform actually, from the waist down, looks more like jammies because the crotch doesn't go high up, whereas with Black Adam, they actually fixed that problem and the groin goes all the way up where it's supposed to. So that's definitely an improvement with the Black Adam figure. And here he is next to some other basic DC comic accurate Mezco 112th collective figures. Flash is not yet included in here because I haven't yet opened him because if I don't make a video of it, I can't open it. So now that we've gone through that, I can honestly say that I am very, very satisfied with this Mezco 112th collective Black Adam action figure. He's gonna be my definitive 112th scale Black Adam for sure. I'm satisfied with 
almost everything. The only thing I would change is that the inside of this cape, I'm not a big fan of the fabric that they've got on the inside. Other than that, I like the fact that it's not a completely wired cape, because if you know me, you know I'm not a huge fan of wired capes. I like the fact that the hood does have a wire in it. I like the fact that it's a fabric suit. The gold looks really nice. The face is that really cool looking, pensive, annoyed, no nonsense, Black Adam face sculpt. I just, I can't really find a whole lot about this figure that I don't like. I'm actually really impressed with it. And you know what? Now is the time to pick up this figure online because he still sells for not much over the original $80 suggested retail price. You can still find him for like 85, 90 bucks online if you check the right retailers or Amazon or maybe Evil Bait. You can still find him for that. So right now is the time to get him. But yeah, I guess we are done. So with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please take the time to bop the like button so I know I'm doing something right. If you have any comments, pop them down in the comment section below. And finally, if you think you'd like to become a super friend and join the DC squad, just remember to hit that red subscribe button, ding the bell so that you hopefully never miss a video, and I will see you with the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, super friends. Have an awesome day. I'm so badass. Do, do, do. Don't put up with crap, dude. Punch your face till there's a hole in the back of your head. Da -da 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 -da.